Hello lovely viewers, welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos online. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through six best free um, Bible presentation software for churches. So there are many softwares um, for presentation, especially the ones which are used to um, project Bibles and song lyrics out there. Some of them are free, others you need to pay before you are able to use but today i'm going to talk about six of them which are free and then you can use it to project lyrics and then bibles in your church so but there are a lot of them there are a lot of them there are a lot of them in um i mean out there there are lots of softwares it is not limited to only six but i'm seeing um i'm going to talk about six popular ones and then six best ones that you can use but actually, there are more than that. There are many, many. You can go beyond this presentation to use any one of them, any of them that you like or download from their website. All right. So without wasting much time, let's go to the first one. Um, all of these softwares have been there for more than a year. It has been there since, I mean, it has been there for several years. And then... But I just want to walk you through some of them that are good that you can use aside the paid ones, the ones that you need to pay before you use. Now, one thing you need to bear in mind is that most of these softwares I'm going to talk about um, are managed by, I mean, group of people or some individuals. Okay, so how they get money is by donations and all of those things. And some of them may not perform as good as we have the paid ones like the one you need to pay before you use like easy worship pro presenter and the rest but obviously these ones are good that you can go by if only you are not willing to pay to use any software then that means you can go by the six all right so let's move to the first one which is bible show so i mean bible show has been there since um, I mean, it's, it has been there for many years now. Okay, so Bible Show is only limited to projecting Bibles. There is nothing like media, no song, um, no PowerPoint presentation, nothing like images or videos. The only thing you can project or use is Bible. That is why we have the name Bible Show. The main aim for creating Bible Show is just is to show the bible on the screen for evangelical purpose and i mean it can be used by a church many many denominations use this so now the advantages the pros and the cons you have i mean um multi versions of the bible with bible show there are many many bible versions that you can download for free and then use it in bible show including multiple i mean languages of the of bibles so from different countries and um all over the world actually all over the world you can download for free and then use it and then it's, it supports um projection to multiple displays that means you can set up multiple screens you can project different teams teams of the um of the bible you are projecting to different screens i mean simultaneously Meaning that, I mean, um, you can project the content that is going to maybe your monitor one is different from what is going to monitor two or monitor three. Different, different I mean, outputs. You can have different outputs. In other words, you can see that it has alternative output. All right. So, and then you have, it has full display teams and lower third. So, you can have lower third teams in there and then you have a full screen backgrounds or teams to display your scriptures and then the one thing i like about bible show is that the searching is very quick you are able to search scriptures very quick and then the you can also project side by side projection of bible versions all right so what that means is that um you can have nlt here you can have niv on the left side and then NLT on the right side. But one of the problems with Bible show, which I actually do not like about, okay, I skipped one point, which is the point two, support for NDI. Um, the softwares out there, whether free ones or non-free softwares, 
one of the features today that most of us will use is NDI. And Bible Show is a very good software that has NDI support. Um, I've used Bible Show for many years, but actually for some time I stopped using it. Um, but I've used it before. I've used it for many years. Um, and then one thing I can see about Bible Show is that with the introduction of NDI, it has helped to, I mean, integrate your Bibles into um, softwares like OBS, Vimix, Wirecast, and then you're able to project Bibles. So one of the disadvantages or the cons I'm going to talk about is you are unable to resize the window just like this. You are not able to resize this way. You see, it has, it has that kind of rigid window or form rigid window which occupies almost all of the screen okay it occupies almost all of the screen which makes it a little bit um it, which makes it a little bit difficult when you have opened a lot of windows on your screen uh -huh. so and then another is um discomfort about bible show is that even though it's simple but if you are not i mean you are just a newbie to it you have to go through a lot to learning how to use it because some, because of the interface, it doesn't look like a normal application, a normal window, just like we have Easy Worship, we have ProPresenter. It doesn't look like them. So you, are, you need to, I mean, learn the ins and outs before you become abreast with it. So that is for Bible Show. And then it doesn't have songs, videos, images, and presentation feature. Now note note something that um the main aim of the main aim for creating or coming out with Bible show, the main aim or I mean the reason for creating Bible show is to project Bibles. To project Bibles is to show Bibles, nothing more, nothing else. So it doesn't have any feature like songs, video images, and then presentations like PowerPoint. So if you are only interested in projecting Bibles in your church, then Bible show is good for you to use. But if you want to include things like images, videos, PowerPoints, presentations, and other stuff, then that one, Bible show, is not for you. Now, it has no Mac OS version or Linux version. So it is only supported on Windows. You can only install it on Windows operating system to use. So that is it for Bible Show. Now you can visit their website, Bible Show website. You can download and then use Bible Show. And then you can also support Bible Show by donating to the Bible Show account. So that is it for Bible Show. Visit their website. I'm going to leave the link in the description so that you'll be able to download for your church if you are stuck with budget and then you cannot afford paid i mean um non-free softwares then you can move into the free ones and then you use now let's move on to video sum all right so video sum to has been one of the softwares which has been around for many years just like bible show and then I'm going to talk a little bit about video sum. When video sum started, it had no, I mean, many of the features that it has now. It was a little bit limited. But the main aim too was to project scriptures. But video sum has gone to an extent of bringing in more songs books. You are able to get more songs. There are more, about thousands of lyrics that you can find in or um, download and then using video sum but the problem is that because it is a it's a group project it has many um some of the songs may not be what your church will be singing or your local service will be using majority of them may be in english so if you want a local song then that means you have to contribute it to the database yourself you have to add it and all of those things but one thing i like about this is that you also have multi versions of the Bible, including um, Bibles from Bible in other languages, your local language. You'll be able to, I mean, search for those Bibles, download, and then use them. Now, 
you are able to also project cuts over lyrics. One thing about video sam is that it's an all-in-one software. Everything is in video sam. And I can tell you that everything you need as a media person or a presenter who uses um who projects for your church you will have it in video sam bringing in videos or camera you can use video sam to do all of those things that easy worship can do pro presenter can do media shout can do and all of those non-free presentation software so now video sam one another advantage is that you can use media for instance it has the media feature which is the PowerPoint, um, images, videos. You can project all of those things in video sum. And then you can import lyrics from popular presentation softwares like Free Worship, bringing media shouts. Even in Easy Worship, you can still import songs from Easy Worship into this. So you can go in for video sum, but let's look at the cons. It has a steep learning curve. I mean, you have to go through a lot to learning to learn video sum and then use it. And then there is no Mac OS version as well. And then there is no NDI feature currently. I know um, the new version that will be released, they are working on it to bring in the NDI feature. And then one thing I do not like about video sum is that it has some sort of Microsoft Office interface, which doesn't, I mean, present itself to be good enough for a new user. You have to, you have to learn so many things before you can become used to video sound. Because one of the advantage of some of these um, non-free softwares like Easy Worship over the free free ones is that Easy Worship, as its name implies. It's easy to use. It's easy to use. The moment you get hold of the software, you need not to be taught thoroughly before you can use it. So Video Sam has this kind of interface that actually gets me bored. And but all the same, you are able to get much more features than most of the free softwares. Everything is packed in this software. You can use video sound for free now let's move on to it has no linux or mac OS. okay i've already talked about that one so go to their website go and read the features for yourself you can read the features for yourself i mean one one of the disadvantage too that i think it has is that i mean setting up the teams these are some of the features though that you can you can read through this is their website address i'm going to leave the link one of the one of the cons that i didn't mention was that setting up team like your alignment and all of this is somehow when you when you start projecting from afresh you need to work around things before you become used to it all right so let me put this across you need um you need to turn depending on which country you are before you can download before you can download video sum you need vpn depending on which country you are you will need vpn to turn it on you need vpn to be able to download or access video sum all right so now let's move on to our next one which is free worship all right so free worship is good i've done a lot of tutorials on free worship out of the lot i choose free worship because of one or two reasons very similar when it when it came very similar to easy worship 2009 so you be, it's very easy to use very easy to set it up all right so free worship you will be able to project songs media just like um in video sum you are able to bring in your your images pictures um videos and then project them free worship is free in one way and then not free in another way if you want a premium version then that one you need to purchase a license to activate those features for the premium version other than that you can stick to 
the free version which allows you to use forever and ever without any watermark or any logo or restrictions. So now some of the advantages are stage display, footback or footback display, alerts and clock, ability to import songs from popular presentation softwares. So now every feature that I've mentioned here can actually be found in, can be used in, um, can be used in video sum or is found in video sum. That is why I said video sum is is an all-in-one Bible presentation software for churches. Everything. There is nothing in free worship that you cannot do in video sum. But as I said, you need to work your way around it before you'll be able to use it. Uh -huh. And most times to get in some of the songs and all of those things, Bibles, dep um, depending on the country you are coming from and then you want to use it, majority of them, you are not going to get the songs. I mean, you're not going to get them. And then let's talk about the fourth point, which is the ability to import songs from... Okay, I've talked about how you are able to import songs from um, other softwares to like OpenLP. And then for now, there is no NDI, there is no Mac or Linux version. Let's move on to OpenLP. OpenLP. So... This is one of the softwares, popular softwares that I've used some years back. So, OpenLP allows you to project songs, add media like pictures, images. And then one advantage of this is that you're able to use it on Mac. There is a Mac version and then a Linux version. So, most of the Mac users enjoy OpenLP because it is free. And then you have a Mac version which most of the non-free ones do not have, with the exception of um, pro presenter software. So you can also, you can import from popular presentation software, other lyrics, and then you can also have Bibles, like you can have the other versions of the Bibles, they are available for you to download and then use. You have a remote control, which allows you to control the, the the software even using the phone or on the network all right so for now there is no ndi and then one of the cons i'm going to talk about is it is not easy to create teams in open lp like your backgrounds your alignment of um your alignment of tests Bible test and all of this. If you want to create teams as we do in Easy Worship and then other softwares, you are not able to do that. Why? Because um, it gives you some kind of tick. It has, it's not, um, it's not an, it doesn't have an interactive graphic user interface for that. It just has some sort of boxes you take, you check, and then to create the teams, which is not. I wish I would rather do an illustration, but... I'm going to do a video, a full tutorial video on each of them. If time permits, I'll do and then upload the video. You'll get notified of um, that video I'll do on each of them. How you'll be able to use it professionally for your media work. All right, so it is not easy to create teams. You also need to find your way out on how to use it. I mean, some of these things have a steep learning curve. All right, so you can also download from their website. Now, this is the free worship website. When you go there, you can go and read more about the features. You can have a premium, the premium or the pro features. You read more. And this is OpenLP. So OpenLP, these are some of the features that um, you have. So for instance, the Android, iOS, remote control, and all of the stage display. All of these things are features which are in the in the um there are features in the how do you call it the non-free softwares but some of these free softwares have them now let's move on to the next one we have verse view verse view so verse view is one of the softwares that has also been there it's mostly used in india and the hindu countries and all of those things so now let's come to the pros it has a lower third teams available Song translations, meaning that you can have 
side by side song translation. But as I said earlier, most of these softwares were developed by groups as per their need to come out with their own softwares to use in their churches. So they create them to suit what they they want. So majority of the song lyrics are in indie. So you can just imagine how you'll be able to use the software. But I enjoy it because of the Bibles and then the verses that you are able to project in lower third. And it has more side-by-side. You can also use, you can have a side-by-side translations of the Bible and then the song. So you can enter your own song, your local, your own local songs and save it in the database and then create a side-by-side translations for it. All right, so... You also need to, I uh, mean, work your way around it on how to use it. And then one advantage is that it has a Mac OS version available. So OpenLP, Mac users enjoy it. Verse view, Mac users are able to use it because most of the paid softwares or the ones you need to pay before you use do not have Mac versions. And now let's move on to the cons. There is no NDI for now, but there is a way. They have, it has a remote. Actually, there is no NDI, but they have a remote settings and all of those things that you can bring your scriptures and then your, your songs into a slower third or a full display into OBS, Vimix, and the rest. So you can also visit the website, read more about the features. There are a lot of features there in there. All right, there are a lot of features in the verses song support i mean remote verse view so there you can use you can control the software from iphone and android so some of these things have great great features that you can use and then let's come to the last one that i want to talk about this is called free show this is different from free worship this is free show now free show is also another software that has been created to allow you to use um, I mean, project lyrics and then songs in your church for free. Now, you can play YouTube video and Vimeo inside the software without leaving the software. So there are a lot of features in there. Visit their website, go through it. And then if it is good for you as a church, you can move into it and then start using it. And then you can connect from any local device by entering the IP and it. Uh, and a set port create and edit multiple stage views all right so it has a multiple stage display that you can you can create like an alternative output what you want to display on different kinds of screens which are connected to your laptop or your pc so actually you'll be able to do all of those kind of things and then when we move to the third point is that you shine a light on your slides while presenting that means what this thing means is that you are able to highlight points in your slides. So this is the feature it is talking about. We call it the draw feature. The draw feature allows you to highlight a portion of your presentation. For instance, you are projecting, I mean, a slide or a Bible that you want to highlight on a certain point so that the audience can see or zoom in into it. This software allows you to do that. You can, it can, it has a media feature to which is important, um, I mean, images, videos, and then creating your own slides or presentations. You are, you'll be able to do all of those things in free show. So free show is also a good software. There is no Mac version. There is no NDI or Linux version. So now let's go to their website and see. So this is it. And then the feature that I was talking about is this draw. So the draw, you, you can see from here how it has highlighted the portion of, or zooming into that portion of the page for, for the audience. So you see, it says that shine a light on your slides while presenting, focus the audience, play with particles, or draw a highlight, a beautiful drawing. All right, so these are not all, these are not all the softwares, but they are, the ones that I think I can talk about as free softwares for, for your church service. There are more of them. We have Quayla, Epic Worship. There are many, many. Because day in and day out, people are creating more and more. But these are selected few that 
I have talked about the if you think you want to use it in your church, it will be of help for you. If you cannot afford the paid versions, then this ones will be good for you to go. So what are my recommendations? My recommendations are that um, if you are interested in projecting only Bibles, only Bibles, then Bible show will help you. Bible show is going to help you. If only you are interested in, you don't want any song lyrics, presentations, PowerPoint videos, images, and all of those things. What you need is to project scriptures. You are only interested in Bibles. Then Bible show, as the name implies, they are not, they are not developing any feature with songs and all of those things. No. Their main aim is just the Bible. Nothing else, nothing more. So that is Bible show. So, if you also want an all-in-one software, then Video Sum is the best. You can go in for Video Sum and start using Video Sum because you can bring in video, you can bring in camera, you can bring in um, import from other softwares, you can show images, PowerPoint presentations, and all of those things. So if you need that kind of package in one, you can go in for Video Sum, except that you need to figure out the way to use it. You need to sit down and then learn how to use it. And then let's move on to the third point. If you only need media and Bible display, then free worship or free show will help you. Free worship and then free show should be able to help you. Any of these, the, the features in here, in video sum, there are some of them that are here, but majority of them that are here, also cannot be found here but you can find most of the features in free worship in this one all right so now free show and free worship they are almost similar but there are certain features that free show can do that uh, free worship cannot do for now so you can try your hands on them but i think the free show is good because the alerts are clocks and all of those you can still add them likewise in free worship so they are almost similar you can choose to use this one in alternative to easy worship any of this one in alternative to easy worship or um how do you call it um pro presenter fine that is good if you are a mac os user then i will recommend verse view for you if you need no, um, if you do not want to project, if you are also, if you also don't want to project um, media like videos, pictures, presentations, then Verseview is good for you if you're a Mac user. But if you are also a Mac user, but you want to include pictures, image, um, images, videos, and alerts, and all of those things, then. I think OpenLP should be good for you if you're a Mac user. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye.